Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby Catano from Catano Glam and this is Catano Glam English. If you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now before we get started with the video. And remember to hit the notification bell because for some reason now YouTube's algorithm doesn't really let you see the videos of the people that you're subscribed to unless you have your notifications on. So don't worry, I only post between once and twice a week so you're not gonna be bombarded with notifications and it's just, an easier way to be able to see my videos since there are so many awesome creators on YouTube. Si quieren ver mis videos en español, suscríbanse a mi otro canal que se llama Katano Glam y allá pueden ver todos mis videos en español. So I wanted to do the intro without my eye makeup because I don't really know what I'm gonna do and I kind of want you guys to just follow along with me. This is basically me whenever I am getting ready to do something. I never really have an idea of what I wanna do. I kind of just do it. So if you wanna see what look I create using the board, to run palette from Urban Decay, which has so many beautiful colors, then keep on watching. Let's get into the video. Okay, so first off, I just wanna say it is hot in my room. OMG. So I'm probably gonna be drinking a lot of water throughout this video. But as you guys can see, I pretty much already have all my makeup on except for my eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in a little closer. Today, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette, and I'm very excited about this because there are so many beautiful colors in this palette. You can literally create whatever look you want. So I'm taking this concealer in the shade Natural, and this is from LA Girl. So since I already have all my makeup done, I just wanna clean up a little bit under the brows, but I have to be very careful not to mess anything up and I am gonna be blending this out all over my eyelid and I'm gonna try not to make it too far out but just far enough that just in case if I want to smoke out my eyes a little bit that the color will grasp very well so out in my room I have to do this little fan like I'm dying I'm just taking a Lily Lashes sponge, which is so weird to say, I didn't even know she had sponges. And I'm just blending out the rest of that concealer. The first shade that I'm gonna pick up is Riff. It's kind of like a caramelly terracotta brown. I'm going to apply that into my crease. So I like to start from the outside and then pat it and then blend it inwards, kind of like this. So the darkest part of the shadow should be here and then slowly get lighter. But I just decided I wanna do a halo eye, so I'm actually gonna bring a little bit of that darkness into the inner corner also. So the lightest part should really be right here. Switching over to a Luxie brush, I'm gonna apply a little bit of this green in the same exact spots that we put that light brown. So I'm starting out in the very outer corner and then packing it into the inner corner and then slowly bringing it up to the crease. Now, it's really important to not um, let that brown completely fade, so you don't wanna go super, super high, you just wanna go right into the crease, and it's perfect. And that's why we switched to a smaller brush. I'm gonna blend this out between the green and that like terracotta brown, just so that there's not so much of a difference. So now I'm gonna hop into a fluffy brush like this. It doesn't have anything on it. I know it just is a little bit stained, but there is no shadow on this. I'm gonna take it and basically blend out the edges. So I'm gonna take whatever was left of that concealer on this flat brush and just basically reapply it to wherever you see the lightness of the eyes. So try not to apply it too, too far. You really only wanna keep it right in the middle. You don't wanna go higher than the crease and you don't wanna go too much towards the inside or the outside. So I'm gonna go back into this brush and add a little bit more green just to blend out that line of the concealer because we don't want anything looking too, too sharp. Right now we kind of want it to all blend. So I'm going to hop into this Bodyography Glitter Pigment and this is the shade Bubbly. How freaking beautiful is this gold, guys? It is literally insane. So I'm actually going to take this finger and go ahead and apply that right into the center where we put that concealer. So now I'm gonna hop back into that Luxie brush that had the green color. And all I'm gonna do is just blend this line a little bit because I don't want that gold to take away that green. Now I'm gonna go in with a super tiny detailed brush like this one 
I'm dipping back into that gold shadow and now I'm going to do the details. This is pretty much like providing kind of like what a cut crease would do right over here. It's a little hard to explain so just kind of follow what I'm doing. I'm applying a little bit of shadow right where that cut crease is and I'm making the very very top line a little farther down on the side than the rest of this. Now I'm going to take this Ulta liquid liner and it's a gold liquid liner and I'm going to apply it just to where that line that we just created was, right where the crease is. Look at how glam this looks just with that little tiny detail that I did. It's obviously super, super optional guys, but you know I'm obsessed with glitter so I had to throw it in there. Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and apply a winged liner and I'm taking this NYX matte liquid liner in the shade black and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pop on some mascara before I put my false lashes. This is the Troublemaker Mascara from Urban Decay. This mascara is really good and it lasts all day. It's water resistant. It's not waterproof, so it's not like super hard to take off at the end of the day. But if you have to sweat, if you're going to go to the gym, if you're going to be out all night, I feel like this is a really, really awesome mascara to wear. I'm going to apply these Huda Beauty Lashes in the style Claudia number no. 6. I love applying lashes with my tweezers. I feel like it's so easy. And then I take my fingers and kind of squish my natural lash and the false lash together. And then I take the tweezers and just make them go up like that once I feel like they're nice and stuck. Now I'm going to take this Motives Eyeliner in the shade Green Envy and I'm just applying it to my waterline. So now I'm going to take a flat brush like this from Alamar Cosmetics and hop into that green shade that we had on the halo eye. I am applying this as close as possible to that waterline and this helps to kind of set that eyeliner that we just applied. But guys, my eyes are so freaking watery. I don't know if it's because I just used this pencil that I've never used before, but like this has never happened to me with makeup. And I know it's not the eyeshadow palette because I've used this palette so many times before. Now with the firm shader E57 from Sigma, I'm going to hop into the shade Riff, which was that light brown that we had in the beginning of the eye look. I'm just applying a little bit of that Urban Decay mascara to finish up the eyes. So the final, final step is going to be applying a little bit of this Anastasia Amrezy highlighter. I love this highlighter, guys. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to apply a little bit into the inner corner of my eyes as well as under the arch of the brow over the top of the brow bone. Okay guys, well this is it. This is the final look. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'm so happy with the results of this makeup. It is such a beautiful halo eye and I really, really enjoyed creating it here with you guys. Sometimes it's fun to just play around with some colors and you never know, the more you play around with the colors, the more you might end up liking the finished product. So if you want more tutorials like this, specifically focus on the eyeshadow, then leave me a comment down below. Remember to subscribe to my channel so you can see all my videos and hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I post a new one. I will see you guys next time.